Yeah, I do, 100%. Oh, so. You know, there's there's not anybody um, moving in opposite directions. You know, there's no guys pulling apart. There's no, uh, you know, cancers on the team that are trying to, you know, bring guys the wrong way. You know, we don't have any of that, so that's a good thing. Yeah, you know, obviously that was uh, very unfortunate. Uh, not, not happy about that one, uh, but it's over now. You know, there's nothing I can do about it now except uh, move forward and, and focus on what we're doing this week. And so... Uh, that's what I'm doing, and that's what my focus is. Uh, it's a big game, like you said. All games are big. You know, uh, we're in conference play, and so all of them, all of them matter quite a bit. And so uh, this will be big for us to go on the road and, uh, and play our best football. You watch the film, and you know, you look at it. And it's like, okay, well, if we just would have, you know, turned this guy a little bit more, if we just would have had a little bit better footwork here, you know, maybe if the back had just cut a second sooner, something like that, you know, then uh, you know, it's a big play. So. Uh, we're trying to, you know, work work our hardest to get to that point where we don't say almost, 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 and we're saying, okay, that's you know, we ran the ball well, so um, you know, it's a process. Yeah, no, I don't pay attention to the noise. Uh, it's not hard to block out. Uh, sometimes it is hard not to see, but it's not hard to block out. You know, um, I care what my teammates think about me. I care what my coaches think about me, and uh, you know, outside of that, you know, I care what my family thinks about me. But you know, other than that. All the other people on the outside, they don't know what's going on totally. You know, uh, th there are select people that aren't in the program that have been in football and know what's going on, but the majority of people, you know, they just don't know. And that's nothing against them. They just, you know, they've never been in it and they're not they're not in our team meeting room, they're not in our quarterback meetings, you know, and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, I don't have a problem blocking all that stuff out. Absolutely. You know, I've known that my whole life. This is nothing new to me. You know, I'm not in shock that, you know, people have stuff to say, you know, um, my whole life. You know, I've, I've dreamt of being in a position like this where that's, you know, part of it, you know, both ways, the good and the bad. So, um, you know, I'm not surprised by it and I'm not, you know, that much affected by it. Uh, no, I don't. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, when, you're, when your fans boo you and stuff like that, you know, that shows that you're at a program that has expectations. And so, um, you know, I'd rather be in a place like that than a place that's, you know, maybe apathetic. Not, yeah, not, you know, that is okay with, with not playing our best. And so, uh, you know, that stuff doesn't bother me. Yeah, you know, I talk to my dad all the time, uh, good and bad. So uh, we'll talk, uh, you know, a few times a week and talk about, you know, what's going on with us, what's going on with his team. Um, and, you know, it, it is a help. Your family's always there for you. So, uh, you know, good and bad, you know, we, we, we talk about everything. The best way to not see that stuff is not having it on your phone. So, I, I, you know, I haven't had Twitter on my phone in, in quite a while. Uh, I hopped on it uh, a few weeks ago just to check my, you know, messages to see if I missed anything important because, you know, sometimes people hit you up through there. So I checked that out and then I hopped right back off. You know, I'm not interested in Twitter. Uh, Twitter is a a great place for negativity and that's not just football that's that's everything and I, I got sick of it I'm like what am I getting out of this by having Twitter other than wasting my time and seeing a whole bunch of negativity so hopped off Twitter Instagram is a little bit different because you, you use that for you know the branding stuff and all that business you know uh, which you know isn't all that important but you'll see the stuff and you know you see it and it's you know sometimes people that will say stuff to you you know, it's a blank profile, you know, no followers, not following anybody. So it's like, you know, this is a completely nameless, faceless person. So I don't, why would I put much investment into that? Uh, you know, and people will say all types of stuff. So, um, it, you know, it's whatever. I don't, you know, I don't really care. It is. Yeah, you know, uh, I guess there was a newspaper back yeah. back in the day and the radio stations. But, uh, but yeah, people have instant access and, you know, instant uh you know, can get to a player whenever they want, really. So, uh, yeah, it is different, I guess. Yeah, I don't respond to it. Um, I, don't, I don't feel like I need to respond to anybody, you know. Uh, I know who I am as a person. I know who I am as a player. And so, uh, you know, I don't I don't place value in what, in what people you know, have to say, unless it's my coaches or my teammates or my family, you know. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm cool with either one. You know, I, I'm cool having the ball first. I love having the ball first. Uh, but I'm also, you know, cool getting in the second half, too. So uh, either way, for me, you know, it's about going out there and, and playing our best when we're on the field and then, uh, you know, doing our best to, to put the ball in the end zone no matter when we get it. So, you know, it doesn't really matter to me. No, you know, I, we're, we're trying to score points. You know, I would say we're trying to score points. It changes. You know, that's, that's part of leadership is, is knowing, you know, 
where the team is, where where you are with your teammates, where you know it, it all changes. You know, it, it's a constant, uh, you know, changing thing. It, so it's a little different this week, but you know, we're we're still together. We're still moving in the same direction, and so. Uh, like I said earlier, we're focused on Maryland, and we're focused on getting ourselves ready for, for Saturday. They got good athletes. Uh, they got a couple good corners. Uh, their safeties are solid players as well. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be a good team. They're going to have really, really uh, big guys up front, you know, that, that move well. Uh, you know, they do some different things. They, they uh, play a decent amount of coverages. And so, uh, you know, we're just going to have to do a good job identifying it and then going out and executing our plan that we put together. Yeah, you know, if you're down in the first half, you know, there's no two-minute offense or anything like that. You know, we're not we're not in panic mode. So that, that stuff's all there, but, you know. It's not like you're chasing 50 points in the first half or anything like that. So, uh, you know, I don't think it had too much of an impact early on. But, uh, you know, as the game goes on, some things may change. But, you know, like I said, it's just, it just comes down to execution no matter what, no matter what we're doing.